Musa from the Emirates, he's asking about zakat and how to know what is the threshold of the zakat and how to pay money over his business. And this is frequently asked question. And unfortunately, people do not realize that not every business requires zakat. So for example, I have a million dollars, I wish, and I make a company or an establishment that is totally uh, owned by me. And I furnish the building, I rent a building, I get employees to work in my building, and every year there's no zakat on it. What about the million dollars, Sheikh? Well, the million dollars were invested in the premises, in the furniture, in the cars, and in the telephone line, the lease line, etc., the computers. But the essence or the work of this company is consultation. So people call in and say, we have a business. We need a consultant to come and uh, make a, a road map for us on how to progress in our business. So my uh, employee goes and sits with them for a couple of weeks, puts a road map and a strategy, a mission, a vision, blah, blah, blah. And they pay him an amount of money. I take the amount of money and I expand and spend it. At the end of the year, I don't have savings. I don't have fixed assets that, is, uh, 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 that are sold and bought. So I, I'm not a, a merchant. I'm not a trader. I give services. I give consultations. There's no zakat in it. Those who have a factory or uh, that is a hundred million dollars worth of machinery and uh, property and etc. What is zakatable is what is produced. So if we produce and in the warehouse we have goods worth of a million, then this million is zakatable, but not the other 99 million of the premises and the machinery, etc. For a person who has a saloon, I'm assuming that the work is halal, meaning that it is a saloon for men. It's a barber's shop. So they only cut hair and they uh, uh, do haircuts that are halal. They don't shave the beard. They don't pluck the eyebrows, etc. This is permissible. There is no zakat. The chair, the hair dryers, the jill, the blades, whatever, there's no zakat on that. The zakat is on your revenue. So after one year of collecting profit and money, we look at the money in the bank account. If it is more than, let's say, 300 or $400, the value of 595 grams of silver, then you give 2.5% every year on that particular day. And Allah Azza wa knows best.